Hey what's going on guys, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Today I'm with Tom and we're reviewing the highly anticipated 2017 Butterfly Resina Rubber. This rubber uses Butterfly's famous spring sponge high tension technology, also used in the popular Tenergy series. The Resina is not designed for Butterfly's traditional elite player market. Instead, Butterfly's idea with the Resina was to develop a rubber for less advanced players or for players who need greater forgiveness and less responsiveness in a rubber than say Tenergy gives you. In terms of price, the Resina sits just under the high end premium price bracket around £41 per sheet, approximately 20% cheaper than Tenergy. The Resina comes with a unique pink sponge and looks very similar to the sponge used on Tenergy. The only real difference it seems between the two sponges is that the Resina has a 35 degree sponge hardness, whereas the regular Tenergy rubbers, such as the O5, have a 36 degree sponge hardness. Therefore, like the Tenergy, the Resina has a medium to hard sponge. The weight of our Resina sample, when uncut, was 68 grams, and when cut, was 47 grams. The Resina rubbers were used on the T-Mobile ALC blade throughout the review. We were both eager to try this new rubber. A lot of online users have been skeptical about the launch of Resina, so I was really looking forward to trying it myself. Right away I could feel the spring sponge coming into play during my topspin shots, something you feel from the Tenergy series. Although it wasn't exactly the same feeling, the Resina almost came off the bat with a louder sound and felt softer, which was likely due to the softer sponge. Here you can see I was able to maintain a good rhythm and consistency during my attacking shots, which I liked. One thing to point out, I have to say, I thought this rubber was going to be slightly slower as it's marketed for players who want to raise their level of play. Interestingly, the Resina has decent speed by a high margin for error, which we were really impressed with during topspin play. Speed wise, perhaps only 10% slower than Tenergy 05. It was also evident early on this rubber had more tolerance and less responsiveness to incoming spin than the Tenergy series. An initial impression we felt with the Resina was that it was like a calmed down version of Tenergy 05. Whilst playing at maximum effort during 3 points forehand, I was able to get high levels of speed and yet maintain good consistency and rhythm. The speed to control ratio was well balanced on the Resina. I had adequate speed with little effort and yet was able to maintain a lot of safety on the ball. We both found the Resina produced a fairly standard medium arc on the ball throughout our topspin shots. If we compare this arc to a Tenergy for example, the Tenergy 05 has a slightly higher arc over the table, whereas the Resina's is more linear. The Resina picks up the ball well against backspin, generating a good amount of spin and ample control. These attributes help greatly when following up with a fifth ball attack. I wasn't developing insane amounts of spin that you would produce with a hurricane or Tenergy for example, however the quality on the ball was still fast and gave sufficient spin.
I'm just testing out the new Butterfly Rosina on some open ups on the backhand side. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of safety, good margin for error over the net and a lot of spin. Perhaps not miles of speed, but really good control. So here I'm just doing a couple of backhand open ups from backspin. Yeah, so on the open ups, as we just demonstrated, I feel like it's really easy to get a nice brush, fine contact and get that real safety over the net. That's what I really like about this rubber. The top sheet was grippy enough to produce a successful spinny backhand flick. The rubber had good twirl, which worked well against the backspin ball. The backhand flick is used a lot in today's game. With the Rosina, it picks up the ball really well. The softer sponge and the grip picks up the ball with good safety. Let's check it out. <laughs> Wrist back. Yeah, I'm getting good spin as well. Initially, we both had a few problems when countering. The ball literally shot off the end of the table. After some slight adjustments by not going for as much power and closing the angle more, we're able to execute counter tot spins effectively. Rosina is not too spin sensitive and handles spin well, especially when on the defensive side of things when blocking aggressive tot spin attacks. I found I can relax and play of a lot of quality, keeping the ball on the table with good precision. The power helped when playing away from the table. You can really feel the ball dig into the sponge with a loud clicky sound. I'm just testing out here Evolution MXP versus Rosina. It's quite interesting. At the moment, I'm finding a Rosina is a bit more safer, not as fast as the MXP. So the first comparison we're going to look at between the Rosina and the MXP is speed. So I'm going to do some forehand tot spins and see which ball I can hit stronger with. So Rosina first. And MXP. So both are, are quick rubbers. The Rosina is more of a control type rubber. However, I can still get power of it, but I do think the MXP, when I go for explosive shots, it does come off the bat a bit quicker. But the Rosina, when I'm out of position, it's very good and very forgiving. I think users using the Rosina will definitely find more control and stability in comparison to the Tenergy series. I think with the Tenergy when away from the table, you need to have good technique and good timing to get that spin and arc to land on the table without it flying off too easily. With the Rosina, it's a bit more calmer, so you get a bit more time on board, and it still produces a good amount of spin and quality. The only real difference, really, was that Tenergy had more top end spin and more capabilities. We're going to do a quick comparison between the popular Tenergy 05 rubber and the new Butterfly Rosina. So first off, the Tenergy 05. Okay, now the Butterfly Rosina. I feel like when I'm using the Rosina, it's got a nice clicky sound, a little bit softer than the Tenergy, so it's got quite a good margin for error over the net, getting nice safety, but it's still got a good speed. You know, Tenergy probably does grip that ball a bit more, 
less forgiving, so it does zip through a bit quicker, but it's got a nice sound, good feeling, the Rosina. Okay, so we've just got a freshly glued sheet of Donic Blue Fire, and we're gonna do a comparison between that and the new Butterfly Rosina. Okay, so first off, the Donic Blue Fire. Okay, now Rosina. Yeah, so to me, both the rubbers have quite a similar characteristics and feeling when doing the open up. Rosina, I feel, has a slightly better grip when picking up the ball, trying to get that spin. Both got a nice clicky sound, but yeah, the Rosina is just a bit easier and more forgiving on those open ups. Here are some open rallies between myself and Tom. Conclusion Butterfly's latest Rosina rubber does what it's designed to do and has a great balance between speed and control. We both liked that this rubber possesses similar properties and feeling of Tenergy using the same spring sponge technology but is slightly less offensive in terms of both speed and spin. The medium sponge combination and top sheet gives you good control in your game. The rubber is less sensitive to spin than Tenergy and works well in the control game, especially when active blocking. We really like the sound Rosina makes, especially in explosive shots. In the serve and receive game, the Rosina worked well. It doesn't bite as much as Tenergy, however, it gives you ample and sufficient spin. Another advantage with the Rosina is how stable it is in the rally from close and mid distance. The rubber produces a quality shot with lots of rotation on the ball. This was evident when out of position with shots and the Rosina was able to pick up the ball well with medium arc. The rubber plays especially well when used on the backhand side and was very effective for blocking and punching. We would recommend the Rosina to players looking for a consistent and well-balanced rubber with slightly reduced speed and spin to the Tenergy series. It is important to note that the Rosina is not a beginner's rubber and still requires reasonable technique and playing ability. Whilst filming this review, we did some comparisons with other popular tensor rubbers such as the T-Bar Evolution and Donic Blue Fire series and the Rosina had similar performance properties but was still closer to Tenergy. However, the Rosina is definitely a slightly slowed down, less responsive version of the Tenergy series, yet produces a lot of spin and still keeps some of the unique traits of Butterfly's flagship rubber. For those Tenergy lovers who are comfortable with Tenergy, should probably stick with Tenergy. However, the Tamer Rosina is definitely an interesting alternative for players who find Tenergy that bit too fast and responsive. Overall, what Butterfly have created is a great new rubber for attacking topspin players who want good speed and feeling in their shots whilst giving you high levels of forgiveness and safety in your strokes. Thanks for watching. Check out our online review center in the link below and be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for more table tennis content. Stay tuned for upcoming table tennis daily reviews in 2017.